What's up, yo? Welcome along to the Sticky TV YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make an awesome confetti cannon that we use on the show. Okay, so but first of all, what you're going to need. So, all right. So what I've got here is I'm going to be using this cardboard. Okay, plenty of cardboard. I've tried to make this as simple as possible so that you'll have all the ingredients that you'll ah uh, materials that you'll need at home. <laughs> We're not going to eat this. Okay, so I've got cardboard. I've cut it into all different shapes, which I'll talk about in a moment. Uh, I've also got this. There you go. I've got a nice long cardboard tube, okay? If you've got a smaller tube, that'll be fine. If you've got a nice big one like this, that's perfect. Okay, now the power behind your cannon is going to be a balloon. Okay, so lucky me, I've got quite a big balloon here. But if you have a normal balloon, that's going to be totally fine as well. Especially if you've got a smaller pipe. Um, if you don't have a balloon, see if you've got some kind of elastic or something stretchy that you can put on the end of a pipe to pop out your confetti. Have a look around. Uh, and then I've just got heaps of newspaper, okay? So make sure that mum and dad have already read it before you start tearing it up and making this cannon. And then over here, I've just got some paints, okay? I'm going with a black cannon, but I've also got some other colours in these. Paint brushes, and you're going to need scissors, so maybe someone older. And of course, some tape! Okay, so the first thing you want to do is cut your cardboard into the right shapes, okay? So I'm going for a cannon here. So I've got this is going to be the barrel of the cannon. Now I've cut this bit out here. As you can see, it's a circle. Now I've cut out the middle bit there, and that is slightly larger than the uh, barrel there, okay? And I've also cut this slip there, okay? So the reason for that, let me get rid of that is simply so that you can go like this with it, alright? So I'm making a sweet cone, so chuck your barrel in there and then take your cone and then you're gonna, as you bring these two ends, you see how I'm doing that? Bring those ends together, it makes it a sweet cone. So you can make a cone like that and then simply tape that in place. Alright, so there we go, got the cone and I'm just gonna tape that in place like so. Now you can see how it's uh, quite close to one end of the cannon, that's important. Okay, so next up, you're going to take your newspaper over here and I'm just going to kind of roll it up into things like this and I'm going to start wrapping it around the cannon so that it gets thicker and thicker until it's as thick as this cone bit here. Here we go. And you can tape it down as well. All right, then you should end up with a beast like this. Okay, so you see I've gone for kind of this cool cone shape there. All right, that's what you want, okay? Because now it's time to put the exterior shell on. So what I've done is uh, I've cut these bits of cardboard into these cone shapes, you see? Now, it may take you a while to just kind of play around and experiment to get these just right, but your cones should be cut so that one end, so like this end down here, you see that bit there? That will go on around this round bit pretty good and at the other end we'll hug it down here real good okay like that now I've cut out two of them as you can see one of mine is slightly larger than the other it's just going to work out like that and so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these bad boys together okay at one point like that all right and then I'm going to wrap them around the cannon so here we go grab a bit of tape this. You might even be able to do this with one piece of cardboard if you can figure that out. Awesome. But me, I'm just going with two. So now what I can do is I can take my cannon here, alright, and I can place it in there like that. And I can kind of roll it along until it's all wrapped up. Yeah! It's already starting to look good! So now it's just a matter of uh, taping this one up here. So you can see I'm going to tape around this rim bit here, and I'm just going to tape along this uh, middle strip there, just to clean it all up. Here goes. Down. Here we go. Hold that in place. Okay. There. Just taping all the way around this rim bit. Alright, so next up, 
I'm gonna be painting it in a sec. So what I wanna do is just, I wanna make sure that it's all looking mint before I put the paint on. So I'm just gonna add a bit of ta uh, tape around there just to tidy that up. I noticed at the end there, there's a little bit of extra cardboard, so I'll give that a quick snip, and I'll just start tidying it up, and then I'll get to painting. All right, so the cannon is looking pretty mean. Check that out. I really like the look of this. Okay, so I need a stand for my cannon to rest on. So right here, I've got a little pop plant pop right there. So the cannon is gonna simply rest on that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint both of these things. So I'm gonna paint this uh, sort of a silvery gray, and I'm gonna paint the whole cannon black. So of course I'm gonna lay out some newspaper for this bit, and uh, try not to get it all over my clothes. Here goes! Go. Good thing I had black tape. If you don't, paint's gonna cover it anyway. There we go. Paint the boost. There we go, that's the cannon looking good. Now it's time to paint this uh, pot silver. And of course, if you don't have an old pot like this, you can totally just make this sort of shape out of cardboard. It'll do the job just fine. All right, it's looking good. Okay, so next up, I've got my balloon here. Now, as you can see, I've actually chopped up some bits of uh, paper here into small bits and bobs, okay? So what you do is you take your chopped up paper, this is your confetti, all right, and then just cram it into the balloon, okay? Because this is... Uh, the power force behind it. Then you take your balloon, okay? Stretch open one end, or if you have a smaller balloon, maybe you need to like cut the balloon in half to kind of make it go over. So I'm just gonna pop it over this bit here, at the back, with the pipe, or the barrel I should call it, barrel of the cannon. Slide that on there. <sighs> oh yeah. Okay. So that goes on there like that. And then of course your cannon, it's going to go on top of that. All right, so I've got the confetti inside the balloon. I'm gonna place the cannon onto its little seat. Okay, now, I know that my paint's still wet, okay, but I can't wait that long. So uh, what I'll do is when it's dry, I'll actually tape or glue my cannon to the base. But I just wanna fire it now to show it working. So simply hold the base of your balloon there, pull back your confetti inside, and get ready to launch. Okay, uh, <laughs> I think the problem there was that I need a bit more confetti. Let's try that again. Now another good way to load your cannon is to simply, once you've got the balloon on there, start dumping some confetti. I just made this by chopping up lots of little squares. Chuck them down there in the top of the barrel. Okay, get them in that balloon there. Still got a bit of wet paint. <laughs> okay, now it's time to launch this beast. Let's try this, round two now. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, baby! That is how you make an awesome confetti cannon. If you make this, I would love to see your photos and videos of you launching your cannon. Enjoy it, and I'm pretty sure you'll have all the materials around your house. Now, of course, you can mix and match uh, materials. If you don't have cardboard, maybe you can use paper. Mix it up a bit, make yourself a mean ass cannon, and enjoy it at the next party! Now all you need to do is subscribe by clicking here.